when the veils are thin between the realms, it is a very powerful time that gives you access to information that you don't normally have access to. It also puts your spiritual family, your guides, your advisors, your team closer to in a vibrational way, easier to perceive them. And when the veils are thin for the next few months, August, September, October, there might be a part of you and your heart really yearning for greater clarity. Almost like if only you could sit in a room and talk to your guides, your advisors, your spiritual family, your team, and get clarity of their perspective and how to proceed and how to move forward. And so whenever we have that deep yearning, or we have stressful, challenging situations or situations that we really need to have clarity on and we don't know how to proceed, it's valuable to reference a realm where you can sit and counsel and reflect with your guides, your team, process and get that clarity. We invite you to take a deep breath in, to pull your energy and awareness into your divine line. And to take a moment to feel into your heart's yearning for clarity, for your guides, your advisors, your team's perspective, for your higher self perspective, for your wise self perspective. Just feel into that heart yearning that you're holding at this time. You might even say to yourself, I do anything to be able to sit in council and get clarity. As you feel into that yearning, we invite your higher self, body to his higher self and teams to work with the energetic fields and the guides to reference the appropriate dimension where you, soul rider, and your body can sit with your guides, your teams, your body, Davis guides, advisors, teams, your spiritual family, where you have the ability to vibrationally, energetically receive energetic packages, packets, bundles of information from them that help you, Soul Rider, that help the body, that help each one of your team members receive appropriate information from their guides and advisors. Your team relay appropriate energetic information to you. Your body to his team that are made up of nature spirits relay appropriate energetic information to your body. And the key component on this one is inviting your higher self body to his higher self to reference the appropriate dimension where you and your body can receive information from your teams, your guides, your advisors, and you, soul rider, your spiritual family. And you just let some energetic aspect, if you reference that dimension, you might even feel a little dimensional shift. And then as you begin to reference that dimension, we invite your teams, your guides, your advisors to gather all the energetic information in codes, sounds, sacred geometric shapes, vibrations, memories, visions, and to calibrate those bundles of information in a way that enables you to receive it, absorb it, digest it, integrate it, and utilize it. So they're calibrating these bundles of information. They're giving it to you in that dimension where it's calibrated that enables you, Soul Rider, to receive it. It's like they're translating that bundle into your language, Soul Rider. That bundle gets translated into the appropriate language that your body speaks at this point in time in its evolution, its consciousness. And then inviting your higher self body to his higher self to reference these energetic bundles that are in your own unique language, vibration, codes that you, soul writer, understand, that your body understands, each one of you individually. And referencing now in another or a different dimension or the same dimension, a space, a place where you can sit and integrate and absorb and receive that information. It might even make you a little weepy and your conscious mind will not know. Not yet. 
Let some energetic aspect of you receive that information in a dimension where you can to unpack it. To sit with that energetic bundle of information from your people. For your body to sit with that energetic bundle of information to unpack the layers, to reflect, to ponder what that means and how to alter one's position, course, decisions, priorities, perspective in a way that honors this information that can help you, guide you. But also you too, you soul rider in your body staying in power, not doing what you're told, but just receiving information, being like, oh, that's a really interesting perspective. Okay, with that information, now we might need to adjust how we proceed in order to get what we're wanting, learn what we're after in the most gentle, graceful way, be of service in the way that's in greatest alignment with your heart, your passion, your current level of consciousness. And so keep holding space for you, soul rider, your body, to assimilate, integrate, digest this information in a dimension where you can, in dream time, during the day, and then as you integrate it, it begins to ripple and reflect to you, to you here. And then your conscious awareness, then your mind knows like, oh, that's what I need to do. And it might come out of the blue, but it's not really out of the blue. It's you having received this bundle, held space for integration, allowed for digestion, reflection, and then you proceed. Taking a deep breath in holding space for that integration, holding your energy and awareness in your divine line, soul rider, body teams, updating all of your grids, all your reference points, all ways in which you perceive, letting yourself sit in that energy for as long as you so desire. 